they love us. Yeah, mom and dad are pretty cool. Guys, of course they are, but we can't show it. Inside Out remains a groundbreaking film in children's animation. During its release in 2015, few films were willing to discuss mental health and the importance of emotional intelligence. The franchise explores these concepts through five core emotions that live in Riley's mind, operating through a headquarters where they help her make important life decisions. Everyone has the same core emotions, including joy, sadness, anger, disgust, and fear. They all have a primary function, promptly summoned up by their names. Joy leads Riley's other emotions, helping to keep a smile on her face. However, if the emotions leave headquarters for any reason, then trouble will arise. In the original film, joy and sadness become lost in the recesses of Riley's mind, rendering them incapable of helping Riley. As she becomes incapable of expressing happiness or sadness, her mental health begins to decline. Unfortunately, the trailer for Inside Out 2 shows all five of Riley's core emotions kicked out of headquarters, meaning Riley will struggle to express herself. With Riley's well-being on the line, Joy and the others will become desperate to go home. In today's video, we're considering how they make their triumphant return to headquarters. Come on! Riley needs us! Have I ever steered you wrong before? Number 1. They're brought back After Joy and Sadness get swept into long-term memory in Inside Out, Riley finds it impossible to express happiness and sadness when processing the move from Minnesota. In the scene where the two emotions leave headquarters, Riley's tears stop, insinuating that emotions must be near the control panel for her to express them. Without joy and sadness, Riley can only experience her other core emotions, with anger becoming the new decision maker. Naturally, Riley begins having outbursts around her loved ones, including her parents and best friend Meg. Anger convinces Riley to run away from home, believing returning to Minnesota will solve her problems. However, doing so results in Riley's gloom and depression, blacking out the control panel and rendering it unusable. Without it, the emotions can only hopelessly watch as Riley tries going through with the dangerous plan. In Inside Out 2, a similar situation may occur as Riley can't connect with her five core emotions. With anxiety taking control of headquarters with an operation to change Riley, she could develop an anxiety disorder. Instead of gloom taking over the control panel because of Riley's homesickness, it's because her self-worth and positivity may take a sharp decline. Like the others in the original film, anxiety can't stop the gloom, and she'll need to bring the core five back to headquarters to save Riley. Can somebody pinch me? Oh, definitely away. Number two, new allies. Now that we know new emotions can form at any time in Riley's life, it's feasible that more emotions are dormant in Riley's mind, waiting until they're needed and appearing in headquarters. In the trailer for Inside Out 2, Riley tries to make new friends with the high schoolers at her skills camp. One of the film's new characters is an upperclassman named Valentina Ortiz. A promotion for the film describes Val as someone everyone admires, likely making her a natural leader who Riley looks up to. In the trailer, she appears numerous times, keen on becoming friends with her. Fans speculate that Val may become Riley's first crush, allowing new emotions to emerge in headquarters. Having a crush on someone is never easy, and Riley would need help navigating how complicated love is. Riley's crush may also influence core memories and the construction of a new island of personality about real-life romance. From the island, love can emerge, a new emotion desperate to reach headquarters and help Riley. Any new emotion would benefit the Core 5, as it would provide support in stopping anxiety. While any new emotion willing to side with joy would be welcome, love may be the best option for helping Riley overcome her struggles. Love could represent romantic attractions, platonic admiration, and self-love. With love in headquarters, Riley would have an easier time maintaining her friendships and positive self-image. You want to sit with us? These girls are so cool! Well, we can't let her know we're excited. I got this. Number 3. The Mind Workers as the Core Five spend most of their time in headquarters, the responsibility of maintaining Riley's mind must fall on someone else. Different groups of entities live in people's minds, simply known as mind workers. In Riley's case, her mind workers have a habit of pranking the emotions. In Inside Out, they send the jingle of a gum commercial to headquarters, causing Riley to have the song stuck in her head. Hijinks aside, the mind workers are efficient when maintaining Riley's mind. They have many vital roles, including managing long-term memory and creating dreams for Riley each night. The mind workers appear in the trailer for Inside Out 2. They're working alongside the sarcasm, a chasm and new location for the sequel. They also appear in a tightly packed office full of cubicles before a large screen. Each mind worker seems to do the bidding of anxiety, but as she pushes them into overtime, one of her newfound employees may crack under the pressure. The mind workers appear to have contempt for the emotions, not because they're cruel, but because they remain separated between headquarters and the rest of Riley's mind. If anxiety begins infringing on the mind workers' lives and how they operate, she could have an uprising on her hands. If she's not careful, Joy and the other core emotions will have an army to take the headquarters back by force. Get 
Operation New Riley begin. Uh, you aren't packed yet? Number four, a spy on the inside. Anxiety can become an overwhelming emotion if it's ignored or unmanaged. In people, anxiety can take many forms, triggered by social events, life changes, or generalized fears. In Riley's case, it appears like she'll develop a form of social anxiety. In the trailer for the sequel, all of her dialogue and character-driven motivation concern joining Valentina's friend group. To help Riley achieve her goals, anxiety begins an operation meant to change Riley in a currently unknown way. However, anxiety may become overbearing to the other new emotions, eventually pushing them out until they have no relevance in Riley's life. The first emotion to become ostracized from the group could lose their bias and skepticism toward the situation. At the film's start, they believe they're who Riley needs, with embarrassment helping anxiety remove the Core 5 from headquarters. However, the new emotions won't want to defend Anxiety's plans when they're not allowed to help Riley. Instead, when their situation starts to change, they can offer to help Joy and the others by operating as a double agent, feeding them information to help Riley and ease Anxiety's influence on her. Yeah, yeah! Oh. <gasps> That's not gonna haunt us for the rest of our lives at all? Number five, Riley's connection. As we've learned from the first film, an emotion leaving headquarters for an extended time can result in Riley losing her connection with them. During most of Inside Out, she struggled to laugh or cry when Joy and Sadness became separated from headquarters. Eventually, her despair became so great as a result that her islands of personality began to crumble as Riley fell into a depressive state. However, Riley will have something in the sequel that she didn't in the first film, her core memories. The core memories are moments in Riley's life that help shape her. The memory of losing a championship game helped her form Hockey Island, as the sport is a critical component of her life. While memories of her childhood friend Meg help power Friendship Island. The core memories are powerful, unforgettable, and integral to Riley's learning and growth. If Riley starts to fall into a similar state of despair in the first film, anxiety could play a core memory to try and calm Riley down. Currently, core memories come from numerous emotions. In the first film, the core five learned how to make core memories jointly, allowing them to become more complex. In watching the core memories with the most substantial emotional ties, Riley could reconnect with the absent joy, sadness, anger, disgust, and fear. Although they would become strangers somewhere in her mind, Riley remembering each of these emotions could help them return to headquarters in one piece, where they can take command of the control panel once more. I know, Dad. I'm not too aggressive. You know, you guys don't have to come to every game. Are you kidding? If Inside Out 2 follows the same themes and messages as the original film, then Joy and the other core emotions must learn to coexist with anxiety and her friends. That means all nine emotions must share the headquarters, using the control panel whenever Riley needs them for a specific purpose. One emotion overpowering others can have serious repercussions. But by the end of the film, all emotions should realize that they share a common goal, doing what's best for Riley. Hey, I'm liking this new view. Friendship Island has expanded. Glad they finally opened that friendly argument section. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Come on, Sadness, where are you? Okay, if I were Sadness, where would I be?